I wanted to put this launch of Falcon 1 into some perspective. Uh, what Elon and his team are doing is absolutely fundamentally critical for opening the space frontier uh, from the following way. You know, we look at most of the uh, launchers that exist to date. They're fundamentally derivatives of the ICBMs that were developed in the 50s and 60s uh, at huge expense. And these early vehicles were developed really without cost in mind. It was the government uh, trying to be able to deliver warheads reliably, and it didn't matter how much they costed. And over the years, those early ICBMs were, were modified and changed to try and deliver costs, uh, satellites to orbit at reasonably low cost. There has not been a new bottoms-up development of a launch vehicle to look at how do you build the Southwest airline of the, of the launch vehicle industry. And what Elon has taken on at huge personal expense and at huge risk uh, is doing just that, literally trying to figure out, you know, how do I develop and build every single subsystem here in a way that we can control quality and control cost. Um, and that's the only way that you're going to effectively get a very reliable and very low cost vehicle. So I congratulate him for that. Uh, I have watched SpaceX and watched Elon from literally day one, and what he's done is, is huge. Um, I have extraordinary confidence uh, in him and his team in being able to get to the finish line. And the finish line here is not just getting a vehicle to orbit. It is really fundamentally changing the economics of this industry. It means a low-cost, reliable vehicle that can go into high-volume production. Uh, at the end of the day, the only way to bring the cost of space down is to do lots of it. And launching on a large vehicle that goes to orbit, you know, three, four, five times a year just is not high volume. We really need to get to a point where the price is low enough where we can do 10, 20, 50 or more flights per year uh, and get a production line capability much the same way that the Ford Model T did back 100 years ago. So I think uh, the fact that the Falcon 1 and the Falcon 9 are coming in literally at a quarter of the price of the existing industry is, is a great fundamental start. Uh, so I'm, you know, I, like many others, uh, have a great deal of belief, but frankly, a great deal of hope that Falcon will come online reliable.